analog preset can set multiple analog signals to different values when an input is pulsed. This makes it similar to an analog initialize, except for the fact that the analog preset makes its output signals ramp to the desired values. To get an analog preset into your program, click the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key preset, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the analog operations folder under logic symbols, and then click and drag the analog preset over to the detail view. The analog preset has an expandable number of analog outputs that take on the values of their corresponding parameters when the trig input is pulsed. What makes this different from an analog initialize is, well, the inability to expand the digital inputs, but more importantly, it's the presence of this ramp time parameter down at the bottom. The ramp time tells you how long it will take for any of the analog outputs to change from their current value to the value specified in the parameter. So no matter what the output's current value is, it will always take the same amount of time to reach the desired value. Let's build a quick example program. We're going to use one analog initialize and three analog presets. The analog initialize will have its inputs driven by an X panel, and its output will be routed back to the X panel's analog feedback. Since we can't expand the digital inputs on the analog preset, we have to use three symbols, so we're going to jam all of the outputs together, but give them different parameters. The first analog preset will have a ramp time of one second, second analog preset will have a ramp time of two seconds, and the last one will have a ramp time of three seconds. Now all we need to do is drive these analog presets with output from our X panel, and then we'll take the analog output of these presets and drag it to the analog feedback on the X panel. Alright, so that's all there is. Let's compile and upload to our processor. When I trigger any of the inputs on the initialize, we see the values immediately go to what we assigned in the parameters. But when the inputs of the preset are triggered, we notice that the outputs of the preset ramps up to the desired value. And the amount of time it takes to do the ramping process is the amount of time that we specified in the ramp time parameter. When we trigger preset number one, we notice that it only takes one second to go down to the desired value. When we trigger preset number three, it takes three seconds to ramp up to the desired value. And when we trigger preset number two, it only takes two seconds to ramp to the target value. So when is it good to use an analog preset? Well, like most of the analog symbols we've encountered, it definitely has its place in volume control. But it is also very useful for lighting situations. The ramping aspect helps reduce speaker pop and makes changing lighting scenes much less abrupt than if you'd used an analog initialize. But you do want to be careful, when you use an analog preset with devices that communicate over RS-232, short ramp times could cause the processor to overload the device with serial communication, and that can give you some weird results.